welcome you back my dear students so now we are going to discuss about plant hormones plant hormones are uh, actually considered as a sort of a new term is plant growth regulator so plants hormones and plant growth regulators are more or less same so we will discuss here about some important plant hormones that may be referred as a plant growth regulators so first in the definition there are various organic compounds other than nutrient produced by plants that control or regulate the plant physiology morphology and biochemical activities like uh, germination germination in the sense of seed germination flower germination growth metabolism and other physiological biochemical morphological activities that means these are the organic compounds so keep it in mind organic compounds other than the nutrients nutrients means the nutrients we used to take from the plants other than the nutrients these are the organic compound that can regulate or control the germination growth metabolism and other physiological activities these are considered as plant hormone or tgr plant growth regulator this is also called phytochrome and recently called growth bioregulators also these are the new terms so first at a glance you can see uh, frequently we use these terms IAA, IBA, NA, 24D, GA, GA3, GA7, kinetin, gatin, what are the things? These are the examples of plant growth regulators. First of all is the most important is auxin. Auxin is the growth regulator and you, the example is indole acetic acid, indole butyric acid, naphthalene acetic acid, 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid. These are the examples. In case of gibberellin, is the gibberellic acid, 3,7 gibberellic acid. Cytokinin is the kinetin and zeanin. Ethylene, ethylene, ethyphone, ethereal, and dormins. Dormins is the abscisic acid. These are the plant growth regulators. Is growth promoter and these are the growth reducer dormins abscisic acid flowering hormones fluorogen anthesin vernalin and synthetic growth these are uh, not so popular but up to six is very popular you need to remember all the examples of plant growth regulators so now first of all you can see in the plant uh, uh, the control of cell division by cytokinins is at a glance all the uh, examples of plant hormones in the plant their functions so we'll discuss one by one so first of all is the classification of plant growth hormone is the promoter cause faster growth this is like the auxin cytokinin gibberellin acid okay and inhibitor that reduces the growth and development is ethylene abscisic acid jasmonic acid these are the things okay but all they called promoters and inhibitors is called plant hormone so now what do hormones control in plant we have already talked about some physiological morphological biochemical activities that control or regulate these are the organic compound other than the plant nutrients so some important issues like root and shoot development seed germination leaf fall disease resistant fruit formation ripening flowering time bud formation anything related to plant growth is regulated by plant hormone so first of all is the auxin auxin is a general name of group hormones that are involved to the growth response that means elongation of cells stimulation of cell division in callus not su surprisingly the term auxin is derived from a greek word increase or grow okay and this was the first group of plant hormone discovered. So now the site of action, where the auxin actually function, do their role. Auxin is made in actively growing tissue, which include young leaves, fruits, and especially the shoot apex. Shoot apex is nothing but the apical portion where the meristematic tissue is found and made in cytosol of the cell. Okay. So now 
in the transport vesipetal or polar polar transport oxygen is transported in a vesipetal towards the base base seeking direction okay towards the base is transported from upper to lower in other words oxygen moves from the shoot tip towards the root means from here to lower portion and from the root tip towards the shoot from root tip to upper portion in the both the direction the oxygen can move now i am coming to the function first is the cellular elongation the role of oxygen in the cellular elongation oxygen can induce and amplify proton pumping proton pumping is for the uh, stomatal opening closing and uh, active protein kinase cell and oxygen receptor cell that helps for cellular metabolism acidified cell wall have increased elasticity which lead to the cell elongation acidified means when the proton is increased the cell will be acidified and acidified means the cell will be turbid and the cell elongation will be there in case of stomatal opening you can see the proton theory also the cell differentiation cell differentiation means the production of different organ or tissues from a single cell oxygen actually promotes differentiation of vascular tissue that is that is nothing but xylem and phloem oxygen and sugar is the vascular tissue oxygen and low sugar is the xylem oxygen and high sugar by the phloem oxygen and moderate level sugar by the xylem and phloem is the cell differentiation and third is the ethylene production oxygen also helps for the better production of ethylene another plant growth regulator iaa indole acetic acid apparently stimulate the production of ethylene that is the main role of iaa for the production of stimulation of the production of ethylene and iaa actually inhibits the root growth because uh, inhibit the root elongation however very low iaa favor root elongation is a very low in very low condition it favor the root elongation but it generally it inhibit the root growth stimulate root initiation lateral root and advantageous root root always from the basal and end cutting also so oxygen here you can see these are the without root but after applying the oxygen root is formed is the is the example so now is the another role is the flowering Although most plants don't initiate the production of flower after oxygen treatment, pineapple and its relative do actually. Okay, for flowering, oxygen can be applied. Once flower is initiated, many of the species IA promotes the formation of female flower. So once one flower is initiated, initiated, then the indole acetic acid is the one example of oxygen. They promotes the formation of female flower. Then only the Uh, hybridization can be takes place breeding also can be takes place now parthenogarpic fruit development pollination without pollination <coughs> pollination of the flowers and angiosperm initiates the formation of seed is called the uh, parthenogarpy and all seeds mature they release the oxygen to the surrounding flower plants which developed into the fruit that covers the seed so these are the example of uh, function of oxygen hormone the next example is the apical dominance apical dominance is the uh, in our class 9 or 10 standard biology book also we read uh, at the apical portion where oxygen stored the meristematic tissue the cell division the number and the rate of cell division increases and the apical portion grow up okay so apical dominance apical dominance is also uh, a role of oxygen hormones once is the apical dominance is already established then the tropic response tropic response is the phototropism phototropism means uh, in bengali it is called uh, alok cholon is uh, phototropism so towards the light the plants can move okay this is a phototropism and the growth movement induced by the light stimulus okay so here is the example of phototropism if you uh, put a tree uh, just next to the window and uh, you can see after few days the apical portion turn moves outer to the window that means from where the lights are coming 
at the opposite portion the auxin store maximum this portion because light is coming here and at this portion auxin is store basically then auxin is storing here and synthesizing here more that means more number of cell division occurs here when more number of cell division occurs here this portion will be elongated and will be turned at that side okay so this is all about the auxin and uh, their role and their function i think uh, you can uh, watch this video repeatedly then only you can write down the uh, functions one by one that's it so in the next video tutorial we will learn about the cytokine enzyme, ethylene and all other hormones thank you for watching